Yeah. This is weird. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, the idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Alexis. I'm sitting next to Corbin. I don't like it. You smell good. Don't. <laughs> I'm incredibly uncomfortable right now. He doesn't uh, do well in confined spaces. Uh, somebody else do it. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. Wait, hold on, I already did you that. Already you did, did that. that. Now they're gonna follow us. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's so juicy. Uh, tell her it's not juicy, Alexis. It's not juicy, Ashley. No, it's not. Ah, <laughs> uh, and always oh, juicy. Thank you for supporting us on Patreon. Uh, so today... Yeah, why do you keep touching me? I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> I had to do this because they're both wearing these jerseys and it would throw Good me idea. off if I had to be over there and they both had jerseys on. Jerry Uh <laughs> Don't mess with me. But this is called A Brown Girl's Guide to Gender. This has been highly requested for a long time. Uh, neither of us are brown girls. One of us is a girl, but I think we will still relate to this as... Hum humans. I'm glad you had to clarify. <laughs> Neither of us are brown girls. Because everybody was so certain we were for so long. Don't it's gonna be revelatory for that. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of albino. Um, <laughs> but I think this is a poetry slam, so I'm quite looking forward to it. Sweet. I'm just glad we're getting to it because so many beautiful yeah. And there's multiple of these, so please, if please, there's please. another one that we should re be reacting to, let Yeah, know. there's Brown Girl's Guide to fill in the blank. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of these. The first boy who held my hand told me boys don't want to hear about vaginas bleeding. Younger me could smell the misogyny. Vaginas only meant to be fucked. Breasts only meant to be sucked. Mouths only meant to blow. It's true, I know my waist meant to be compared to an hourglass. My voice only meant to quiver. Oh, please, fast. Yet, I am silenced for all we boiled on to is sexual interaction. Not just me, my mother, sisters, friends all quicken the pace post say 30 in the evening. Mm. My mom telling me to wear skirts out less often, nirbhaya and more left forgotten. We don't want to be another of India's daughters, do we? So I wear my jeans long and wear my tops high, don't show my cleavage or a hint of my thighs. Don't want to be mistaken for wanting it. Cause if I wear less, I'm more than just flaunting it, I'm risking it. Risking not my virginity, but my life. My hymen seems to be sacred, or to keep it till I'm a wife. If not, I'm a whore, a slut and skank and more. Not as pure as I was before. 15-year-old Lakshmi didn't like 32-year-old good do back and good do dealt with it real maturely. He made her the victim of an acid attack. Lakshmi could be your sister, your girlfriend, your cousin. We're girls, women, human, not a burden. So I asked my male friend to drop me home because his privilege will protect mine. I'm sorry oh. dad I was catcalled in my uniform at the age of nine. This isn't an all man thing, I know, trust me, I do. But the men I can trust are only a few. At the age of 12, my bra straps are sexualized. At the same time, we don't get damn sexual rights. My aunt raped by a husband, but marital rape is fine. Pucker up, it's a mad design. Get in line. So what I'm trying to say here tonight is, I'm sorry, I was brought up in a family where my brother taught me wrong from right, where my mother believes in our generation to better the world and make it slightly easier for each and every girl. Thank you, for I see men in this room reaching out for help, realizing the bane of the womb, being saved by the sane of a few. We're all collectively reaching out for you. Thank you. Give it up for Aranya, guys. Give it up for Aranya. Dang. Suffice it to say, I wasn't expecting that. No. Yeah. Um, that was intense. Um, and depressing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Because... It was all incredibly true. True. <clears throat> and like I said, I we could easily um, not relate but understand because it happens to women here. Everywhere. Everywhere. Literally everywhere around the world. It's not um, I'm assuming. I think the probably the most powerful line to me was you said, I'm sorry I got cat called in my skirt when I was nine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, like I remember Alexis You'll remember this, and I'm sure you don't mind me sharing this. When I like, what? <laughs> no, when when I first started, because you and Ash were completely naive to it, and I had to point out to you, men are starting to notice you. Mm. Remember? Mm. 
And it was like, wait, what, Dad? It's like, no, guys, you need to be aware. Yeah. Um, sorry, but you're now that. Yeah. And they were really young when that started to happen. <laughs> Younger than you would want that to have. But I had to prepare yeah. you. Wow. Yeah. Well, it's um, a really good poem. Incredibly oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, what'd you think, Lex? I thought, I mean, I love that she has the platform to be able to speak about that. Yeah. I think that's really beautiful. Yeah. And it was really well put. Mm -hmm. Sometimes this, a lot of stuff could be like just in your face, in your face, but it was so... Yeah, like raging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't, it wasn't really that, even though, I mean, if she wanted to, she could totally do that because... <laughs> yeah, but I just, I wonder, I really wonder how many... Um, how many Indian girls and guys who who sympathize with the situation in India feel like that's just shouting into a void because it doesn't because so many places they shout like that and it's not heard and it doesn't change and they stop shouting because it's just it's still it's still going on and it's 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 I think it's more complex for them because they don't just have it as a gender thing it's a multifaceted thing mm -hmm. of religious differences and, and hierarchies and caste system hierarchies and regional hierarchies. Women are held to a higher standard because for some reason yeah. their bodies are just sexualized. Right. And so if they're 13 and their bra strap is showing, that's somehow scandalous. Yeah. If they're wearing shorts that show their thighs, that's somehow dishonoring that. to them. That's just, it's, and obviously there's different cultural things, but it just, it makes me... Uh, incredibly upset. Yeah, and I get I get upset. You've heard it too. There's cases here in the United States where we hear about, and they're depicted in films, rape cases, where the defense of the men, because it's always the men raping women. It's not women raping men. Mm -hmm. um, the, the 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 defense is the she asked for it. Mm. You know yeah. that because she was dressed a certain way, then he clearly didn't have any self control, and that I just oh, it yeah. just. We, in case anybody's confused, a woman can be completely and utterly naked, naked. and not be asked it's, for it. It's up to the, <laughs> yeah. How about having some self freaking control? <laughs> yeah, for the man, you dummy. <laughs> and and have self control and respect because yep. one of for me this this is just but I mean obviously because I have daughters, but even before I had daughters, I mean I will if I'm if I'm walking down the street in L.A and I'm alone on the street and, and someone coming to, and it's a woman coming toward me, I will go out of my way to usually just like give her space or cross the street mm -hmm. because I want, if there's anything I want a woman to feel around me, I want her to feel safe. Mm -hmm. And a lot of women just being around a guy don't feel safe. And you don't know if the woman you're interacting with was abused by her uncle, her dad, if she's been raped, she's for sure at some point or another been sexualized and treated like garbage because she's a woman. Mm -hmm. And and I just the thing about that I love that she said it. I just it's 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 a very long fight to change it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. It's nowhere near over. No, sadly. Yeah. But yeah, please let us know if she has other uh I know she has one called The Brown Girl's Guide to Beauty, which mm -hmm. I, I believe oh. will will do as well. Maybe when uh, Ashley's here yeah. as well. But uh please let us know if there's other stuff, other videos like this because uh that was really good. Mm -hmm. That was really good. I really enjoyed that. Yep. Did, yep. I was going to ask you, did you, you get but I know you did too. <laughs> <laughs> I actually was, I was going to ask you more, but I don't know if you'd want to share that in terms of your experience, because I don't, I don't really know that as far as the, how do you feel being a, a young American woman and who's a pretty young American woman, how often do you feel sexualized? If I'm in public, yeah. almost every day. Almost every day. That's not a surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's, terrible. it's just like it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs>